Hello everyone, this is lesson 14 and as weird as it feels to me, this is our last lesson for general music until next year. So first, if you are a sixth grader, I wish you all the best. Um, I would have loved to have spent this quarter with you and, and had those chances to make those lasting memories. Just know that I often stop by um, the different middle schools, whether or not you go to Tortolita or you end up going to Dove. Just know that you're probably going to find me on campus because I tend to play piano and help out at some of the music concerts there. So even though you're moving on, you don't lose me. So make sure you still say hi to me whenever you see me. To my kinder through fifth grade students, I just want you to know it's it's been a great year. Um, things happen that we weren't sure about. Uh, kinder and first grade, you still have a musical coming. Uh, I don't know how it'll look, but I, I definitely know that there's still something. Um, how music will look in the fall, I don't know. But we're going to figure it out one day at a time. And no matter what, I am here for each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you in whatever way that is. I look forward to seeing you in the fall and watching you grow up in front of me. It's one of my joys as a teacher is getting to know you more and just watching you grow. And I look back from pictures of years before and I go, oh my goodness, because to me, you're my kids. So um, I know we had three quarters at school and we've had one quarter online and thank you to those that came to zoom and got some more one-on-one -on -one time with me that was a lot of fun too so what i want to do today is just simply do a wrap up i just wanted to come on here and tell you how much i i love all of you and i am going to be seeing you and if you see me you guys know if you see me at fries or walmart you may not be able to hug me yet but say hi. Okay. Um, I'll be wearing the music masks because all my masks seem to be musical. I don't know what that's about. Anyways, so this is what we're going to do today. A little bit different. I'm not assigning anything. I'm going to tell you what we've done. And I just want one response from you, which is out of the different units. I'm going to chunk them into our units out of our different units, which was your favorite unit? That's all I, were, I really want to know because I can kind of put that in my head for ideas for the fall and because teachers never stop, okay? So what was your favorite unit? I'm going to tally up the different responses and kind of see how I can implement that, whether it's in the classroom or it's on a computer. Before I go over the units, we did have one last battle of the song by request. Now, as you listen to them, um, I had different types of responses. One person said that song number one reminded them of a movie. And I thought that was an interesting comment on that one. Uh, on song number two, one person said that it was uh, interesting seeing them run along the ocean since the song was about fire. Um, but I loved all of your responses. And what I just have to say is, uh, talk to your parents about these movies because there's a reason that these things happen. The first song was called Inspector Gadget. When I was a kid, I used to watch it. It was a show. It was a movie. So, da-da-da-da-da, Inspector Gadget, da-da-da-da-da, boom, boom. So, anyways, fun, fun, fun song. And that was played, it was called The Eight Cellos, except that it was one lady who recorded herself eight different times and had to make sure it all lined up. So when you weren't watching, if you closed your eyes and you listened, you swore there were eight people playing the cello. But if you opened your eyes, you realized it was just one person who had layered herself and learned all of those parts by herself. That's really an amazing talent, by the way. So that's from your parents or that's from my generation, so that might be your parents if you're in K through 3. If you're in my older 5, 6 group, that might be your grandparents' generation. The second song was actually before my generation, so I'm going to say your grand grandparents' 
slash great grandparents generation. It's a movie. It's a wonderful, wonderful movie. I saw it as a kid, fell in love with it, loved the music. It is black and white, but it's a good movie. You should watch it. And it's called Chariots of Fire. And it's about a racing competition and the fire in his legs and stuff like that. So um, if you watch that, it'll make sense behind the name of the song um, and the running, how they ran on the beach. And anyways, I don't want to give too much away because maybe uh, over the summer, you guys can watch Inspector Gadget and Chariots of Fire. Let me announce the winner. I know some of you probably are still getting your assignments in, but it was due by three. So I have my tally at that time. With my tally at the due date time, so there will be more, I can just tell you that Chariots of Fire won by 18 votes. Now, I know I'll have more by tomorrow. My guess is it will still be in the lead because it's been in the lead the entire time. So as of this recording, it won by 18. It'll probably still win by between 15 and 20 when all is said and done, and I have everybody's votes, just to let you know. So that window's probably pretty good. Okay, here we go. These are the lessons I taught you. You just can re-listen or have a parent write them down, or you can write them down, because all I want is a private comment that tells me which was your favorite unit. I'm not gonna go lesson by lesson. Unit one was the very beginning when I did videos with the cups of water and you guys had to make the songs on water. You did it with metal spoons. You did it with wooden spoons, plastic spoons, and you heard higher and lower notes. We dinged on the water bottle. So we're just going to call that water unit. Okay. Water unit. So if you like the water unit, make sure you tell me that in a private comment. The next unit that we did was the first three was three lessons, but it was battles of the songs. And we did a solo, a duet, and a quartet. So we're just gonna call that battle of the songs. If you like that one, send that to me. The next unit we did was on beats. Steady beats, unsteady beats, strong beats, weak beats. So I focused on different styles. The word beats is B-E-A-T-S. So um, you can just say the unit on keeping a beat. Sounds good to me. The last unit we did was called composition, or if that's a hard word to spell, you can just say writing music. We did a unit where it looked like a little piano keyboard, and I talked about the high notes and the low notes and where they were, and you played them, and you sent me a link, and I listened to your piano song. Then you did one where you got to play a xylophone, four different songs, and you had to follow the notes, so you were still reading music and playing the music, and you had to tell me what it was. And then that last one on Song Maker, where you got to make your own song, and it looked like square blocks, and you could choose any instrument for the top. You had piano, marimba, xylophone, whatever, and you had um, different type of drum beats for the bottom. So that one is called Composition, or you can tell me Writing Music. So um, once again, in a private comment, which was your favorite? The Water Unit, The Battle of the Songs, the one on keeping a beat, or the one on writing music. Four units over this quarter that we went over, and I enjoyed each and every one of them with you. So send me a private comment. I will respond back to each and every one of you like I always do, and I wish you all the best. So take care of yourselves.